All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, if you're still watching this on the stream, it's been about five minutes. You know, I went to go take care of some things. If you're on YouTube, however, what's going on, everybody? I'm Much the Battery. Today, we're going to be continuing our challenge run of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. If you enjoy the content, please follow and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get back into things. So last we left off, we had just picked up a Woodman Beast contract and from this captain of the guard who on the pond of completion will give us a pass across the pontar so we can finally get the novigrad and see tris and all that um aside from that last episode we were finally able to take out jenny of the woods who had been plaguing our quest log for quite some time now actually we tried to be there a handful of times and we just simply weren't able to deal enough damage to her to counteract her health regeneration However, we finally got the upper hand and we were able to take her out. Aside from that, I don't really remember what we did. So, hopefully you watched the episode no better than I did. Last thing we're gonna do is speak to this guy right here. Interest you in a pass. Jabist around, right here. What? Could dress up like Radovid and buy a gilded carriage for that much. What am I to do if you can't afford it? A <laughs> hundred dollars, and he's really complaining. So this is the other way to get the pass. It's not really necessary, in my opinion. No deal. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold up. Might have a little work for you. Reduce the price for a job well done, eh? What kind of work? Nearby, just to the southeast. My sister's husband's got a business. He and some lads tidy up battlefields. Problem is, there's always swarms of shite bothering them, you know, in monsters drawn to corpses. Give them some protection, and I'll swing you one beautiful discount. I think you'll swing me a discount just because. Hi. Good idea. Discount's yours, <laughs> my friend. Yeah, it's really that easy. Uh, I think I suppose let's take it. This is the alternative way to do it. Pleasure doing business with you. Not really sure if it matters too much though, but this is what the transit pass says. And apparently we can still talk to him. He doesn't give anything, so I guess it's not a big deal. Yeah, we're gonna hop on Roach. I'm gonna go check out what this guy wants because this is kind of an interesting mission in my opinion as you can see there's swarms of shite as he correctly said let's see what we can find over here there's a mission here, it would seem, so we'll check this out real quick. That's pretty tanky for this old wild dog, damn. Let's see what's here. Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. When did you last eat? A week back, half a charred squirrel and a handful of berries. Why are you out here alone? Where are your parents? Blackens killed some of them. Others kicked us out themselves. Too many mouths to feed, they said. We're gonna go ahead and give them some coin then. I don't have any food, but maybe this'll help. Thank you. Here, for you. For your kindness. We do feel quite kind. Quite kind is good guy girl. Yeah, tell me why I read that. I thought it said experience point zero received at first. <laughs> uh, presumably this is what happened to their parents? Not exactly sure though. So I'm pretty sure by reading that book you get some info on people, but maybe we already read it. I 
Anyways, the scene of the crime is right over here. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, there's an Al Ghul. I'm not sure if we fought one of those guys. These guys can be kinda of nasty though. Oh, there's multiple Al Ghuls. Yeah, so as you can see, they have these big ass nasty spikes. And I'm pretty sure if you hit them while they're out, they, they damage you in return. Which is not ideal, obviously. Their black blood and necrophage oil out. These guys are necrophages, as as the name suggests. You like that silver? Oh. So what you can do is you can knock them back in with hard. I think. Oh no, it doesn't knock them back in. I could have sworn it did. I guess it just knocks them over. Anyways, we're gonna focus on this guy because he's low on health if he won't stop running away. Yeah. So this is pretty annoying since you can't really combo them since they just like damage you back. There we go though. Not sure if you guys saw that, but I'm pretty sure he had a red mutagen. They both do. That's super nice. Not really sure if we'll end up using any red mutagen, simply because we're not going to be using any red skills, but nice to have. They are used in some decoctions as we saw last episode. Claude and Nod. Necrophages fed here. But all the wounds they inflicted are post-mortem. Footprints. A survivor? Either that, or the monster's a humanoid. Look like claw marks, but here, an arrow. Shaft's broken off right at the skin. Uh, based on how he said that, it seems to me like someone came and like broke off the arrowhead, so that it wouldn't be obvious that these people were killed with arrows. Looted bear. Either someone stole the cargo after the monster attack, or our monster collects military paraphernalia. Claude and Nod. Necrophage is fed here. fishy here. But all the wounds they I should inflicted are post-mortem. Right, we're gonna do just that. See where they head off to. Of course, they're gonna lead us straight into a pack of drowners. For some reason that doesn't surprise me. Might want to look around some. Oh, this is going to be a nice. Yeah, it is nice to do damage now, but it'd also be nice to not have to get involved with so many drowners at once. Which does remind me about something we did last episode. We finally got our Griffin gear. Uh, that includes the swords, the armor, everything. It actually doubled our armor, and nearly doubled our damage. And basically we've been using like level 2 gear since uh, the level 2. <laughs> All the way up until level 11. But we did finally get that resolved. And we are feeling a lot better with what we have now. Look at that. Actually doing damage is super nice, believe it or not. Oh, is that horn ward? Nice. I think we need that. Or maybe it was buckthorn. Something like that. I forget exactly. One step more and you'll gain a new hole in your head, Dwan. What do you seek here? Speak! Need to talk to your commander. It's important. I don't trust you. Figured as much when I saw your bow aimed at me. Still have me in your sight. And I'm just not prone to doing stupid things. I can assure you of that. I'll be assured when you hand me your weapons. Come on, your swords. Drop them, and I'll take you to Venosio. Uh, I think we can agree to those terms. Fine. 
Lead the way. We can always spam Quen if things go bad, of course. That gun. Strange. No monsters trouble us. Might not trouble you, but the Redanians are convinced something prowls these woods. Hired me to kill it. Well, they're mistaken. It's not the first time. There's no monster here. Your work is done. This isn't a game. Men have died. Soldiers have died. Radovid's soldiers, serving the man who torments the Enshe from the Great Sea to the Blue Mountains. Soldiers who joined in massacres, tortured our brothers, raped our sisters. I shan't cry for them. And we'll not stop attacking those transports. We must eat, same as you. So you've a choice. Leave now and forget what you've seen, or die. Well, I think dying is not really a uh, a good choice. I think we're going to go with the leave now. Do what you will. I'm not about to get involved. Give him his things, and toss in something for those transports. Wise decisions should be rewarded. Va fail. I mean, that is certainly part of our decision making. These guys are simple enough to kill even oh. if you uh, decline their offer. But, in particular, we just want to make sure that, you know, we don't like Radovid and his people. So we are going to kill him off. Enhanced Golden Oriole, nice. That said, I'm not sure what the guard captain does now. TBH. Um... Interesting. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize we were right here. So that's the end of the crossroads then. Hmm. All right, that's kind of cool. So, um, as I was saying, which I completely forget now. Yeah, well, we don't like Radovid, we don't like Redanians, so, you know, we're not particularly hurt if they're getting killed off. Although, Nilfgaard is clearly responsible for many deaths themselves, they don't really go around torturing people like the Redanians do. And at the end of the day, if you have to choose the lesser of two evils, well, you gotta choose the lesser of two evils. Things aren't always fair, of course. And that's very much so in the case of the world of the Witcher. Many shades of grey, not much black and white going on. It actually looks like these guys went ahead and killed the ghouls and everything here. JK, they're still there. I mean, they can't always just run away, they're just choosing not to, so... I feel like that's really much more on them than it is on me to not help them. Also, I did not know this guy was here. Greetings. Wow, I'm super disappointed. I was really hoping he played Gwent. Wouldn't mind a since look he at had stock. the uh, the mug and everything. Where this guy doesn't even have cards. Now that's deeply disappointing. Also, how do we have what? Shouldn't the sword be equipped? Or is that just because they took our weapons? It's probably because of that. Farewell. Yeah, look at that. Oh, we have a mace equipped for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that happened. Interesting. Whatever, though. Anyway, I was really hoping you played Gwent or had cards since he has the, uh, the mug in the minimap there, and that usually indicates that, but... Oh well, that's a shame. Either way, let's see what the captain has to say now. You're back finally. Did you get the beast? No. Searched the woods, didn't find a thing. Might have moved on. That, or you're one shite, would you? What are you still doing here? 
You don't get any coin. Just a kick in the arse if you're lucky. Get lost. Yeah, so if you do end up taking the Scoyatel side in this mission, you can basically talk to the Shady Merchant we did earlier and you can pay a bit of coin to get a crap, or get a pass across the Pontar. Which clearly a lot of people are trying to get across. And that's another, I thought there'd be a cutscene or something, but I guess not. That's fine enough, I won't complain too much, I suppose. I was hoping there would be one, though. The first time my other playthrough that I ever got here, I came from this way, actually, and not the other way, so... Slightly disappointing. Also, it's kind of cool how this bridge is made of boats, I didn't notice that before, check that out. This is something armies used to do back in the uh, the old days, if they need to cross a river, they just get a whole bunch of boats together and put planks across them. Not sure when it was first started, but I'm pretty sure Caesar did something like this to cross a major river in Germany, maybe the Rhine, way back in the day, and caught the uh, the Germans completely off guard. He was able to just crush them with their with his Roman legions. So now we're finally across the Ponta, however. We are getting pretty close to Novigrad. And we're gonna run through these woods, see what this is real quick, and then we're gonna head that way. Because we do want to do that quest. Which is a very short one. It's actually just talking to someone we've already met before. Alright, so this is what I thought it was. Slower. These guys, I think, are like level 20 knackers. But let me just double check. Level 18 Neckers. Alright, not as bad. I still don't Faster. think we're really gonna be killing them. Fortunately, I also think there's some Andragus out here. And I would like to kill them. And hopefully we can get an Andraga heart out of it. If we can get that, that means we can finally get the, uh, the enhanced insectoid oil, which would be super nice. Sorry if I'm like not looking at the creatures, I'm pretty sure someone is like supposed to drop down from like the uh, the trees. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Gotta blow this up if I wanna get rid of the Endrigas. Oh yeah, there he is. There is a guy in the tree. This is a guy we really want. So I think he's the one who drops the hearts. As an aside, we're also gonna get our insectoid oil on. Ouch. Not gonna lie, even with our armor and everything, these guys are still pretty tough. Wow, I really didn't expect that to hit me, not gonna lie. Fortunately, Quentin can get rid of that poison, because that shit is very fast acting. There we go. Ooh, we got the heart. Perfect. Looks like it's our insectoid oil up. Nice. So we can also make a decoction again. Yeah, that one seems pretty okay. We can get that one. Some full moon, some enhanced Oriole, and salmon. Sure, why not? And I think that's everything we can do now. All right, all right, cool. But more importantly, since we're about to fight some more Andragas, we can get that even better insectoid oil. And a couple of things here. 
Not too bad, not too bad. I think that, yeah, there's another monster's nest right here. I like to think that Insectodor we just made is very obvious, but I'm not really sure. Feels like it though. I mean, it definitely feels like our damage is 15% more, though. No? <laughs> Don't do that. That shit hurts. And dead. If you guys notice, these guys actually uh, were clearing the monster nest. Actually, gave like a hundred um XP points too. It's pretty nice. That one only gave 20 though. Hmm. I don't know, it seems rather disappointing to me. Anyways, Come let's continue on, our way over here and speak to this gentleman real quick. So a while back, just to remind you guys of who this is, a while back when we first got to Valen, there's a guy somewhere... Where was he exactly? I see he was somewhere around this area. Or down here. No, I think he was down here. Like right here or so. Who, um... Oh, we need to help that person too now that I see that. Who is tied up against... Along the... River and was being attacked by drowners Snow since he had been tied up and left there to die by some individuals. I think he's a Temerian, but he abandoned the army. And then some patriots heard about that and tied him up and left him to the drowners. Uh, but we let him go, and this is what he's been up to since then. Which, uh, John Vernon, remember? You saved me from the drowners. It was Coppolis then. Now, why, well, my purse is bursting. Mm -hmm. With coin that belonged to the refugees. Vengeance tastes sweet. I thought you'd come for your reward. I'll gladly pay, mind you. You saved my life, no two ways about it. But if you're looking for a bruising, well, you'll find it. That sounds like a threat. We definitely don't take that shit around here. Should have left you there, tied up right at the water's edge. Well... You can't turn back time, but I'm willing to see to it your conscience don't torment you long. Get him! What a clown. He really thinks he can take on Geralt of Rivia. We do don't have any bombs though, so let's uh, fix that real quick. Get some creep shot. I guess I will try this out too. I don't think I've ever actually used it before. Just because it seemed bad. Yeah. So apparently you have to do that, and then you have to go over here. You have to walk through it, and you have to poison them or something. I don't know, is that good? Might be good. Seems like it's doing its thing, right? Like 62 damage. No, oh, maybe that is pretty good actually. I think the thing that's annoying about it is that you have to have like a little setup to do it. But, like if you get the setup down, I don't know, maybe it's not too bad. Anyways, so uh that guy he clearly took to a life of banditry after we so interesting. After we so selflessly helped him out. Apparently our good deeds did not transfer on to him, unfortunately. Anyway, this is a letter from him to his mother. Talking about how everything's going good. Etc, etc. It feels kind of bad to kill him, knowing a little bit about his family. But at the end of the day, you know, shouldn't really be going around murdering people for the sake of murdering people. 
Though I say that, but Geralt tends to do that Faster. too. So I suppose his motivations are a bit better. Oh, there's a shopkeeper here too. Interesting. Um, we'll talk to this guy first, just to see if he plays Gwent. Then we'll go here, then we'll go there. I should note that there's also a couple entrances to get into Novigrad. And uh, I think each gate entrance does something a bit different. Damn, he doesn't play cards either. What is with these merchants? Stock. Oh, but he does have a pretty good stock of items. Not gonna lie about that. And I think we can sell some of our junk to him. We cannot. That's a shame. Does have some armor kits though? I'll buy those. Some lesser Gwyn, Axie, Ard, Yerden. Some parchment. Ah, oh, those are 174 each. Damn. I don't think I want that then. Maybe later when we have more money, we can buy more of those. So or we can really make a whole bunch of Quen. Quen runes, that is. It's ultimately, I don't want our Quen to be like literally hundreds and hundreds of percent in the protective power. That'd be quite ideal. I think the other merchant was around here. <clears throat> Give or take. Kinda wanna see what's in here first though. If anything. Locked. That's actually deeply disappointing, not gonna lie. Not even anything interesting either. This looks like there's another chest though. And we can't actually jump over that, and I don't feel like walking around, so we're just gonna ignore that then. Lucian's windmill and a traitor. Greetings! Greetings to you, sir. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Well, it doesn't appear he has much of anything interesting either. Hmm. Alright, that's fine. Farewell. I feel like right now I'm really just delaying the inevitable of getting to uh, Novigrad, so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now before I get even more sidetracked. We can see that. Well, it's actually a pretty good view. Not we can so see the city in all its glory right here. Check that out. We let's. I'm sure, one of these buttons lets me take a screenshot. I'm just not sure which one. Let me check real quick because I think I want to take a screenshot of that. Not video. What am I doing? Key bindings, maybe. Oh, there's a stop horse. That's also X. Interesting. I don't need there's a call one. I guess the lock means I can't change. Not really sure about that. You can just press H to access your Gwent deck. That's interesting. Didn't know that one either. Anyways, I don't see anything there. Maybe here? No, I don't use a controller. Yeah. I don't know, that's unfortunate. Does H? H really does open up the Quint deck. That's kinda cool. Nice. Anyways, we're gonna head straight into town then. You can see now we've gotten closer to the city, you know, there's a lot more people, there's actual farms and whatnot. And here's our first entrance by the looks of things. The port side gate. Nice. I think right over here is a notice board though. I just want to grab that real quick. Yep. The woman's mad. We got paint your world anew, we shall overcome, seasonal labors wanted, contract, devil in the woods, contract the white Lady and High Stakes Gwent Tournament. One of my favorite quests that we'll definitely be doing in the 
not sure if I should say near future. It's not necessarily the far future either though, but in some time to come. I think it's like a level 26 quest or something like that. We'll be taking it though. Don't touch me. Oh, and let's get those missions started. Wait, lady. We're also gonna do the first part of this. Oh, will we? Lord of the Wood. That's a good mission too. Not gonna lie. And actually, it changed my mind. We're not gonna start that mission. We're gonna keep doing what we do now. Which is, is it Triss in their home? For those of you who aren't aware, Triss and Geralt were together for some time uh, while Geralt had lost his memory from amnesia and once again I'm distracted that was very interesting <laughs> clearly his witcher skills to stop in gravity there kinda of funny that we have some smuggler crates right here of all places, but free loot is free loot. I shan't complain too much. Anyway, Tristan, basically Tristan and Geralt used to be a uh, romantic interest with one another for some time. Though I believe they. Not How so does this happen, <laughs> bro? You literally teleported onto approach. the bad side of the bridge. How is this even possible? Ugh, sorry, sorry. Anyways, um, so Carol and Triss used to be a thing, right? But just before the beginning of this game, they broke up. And I guess we don't need to pass to get in today. That's nice. In the city, you also can't sprint on your horse either, so this is the fastest we can go, really. Oh, beautiful. This quest is the quest for us. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey, a vat gun in my establishment, it can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? You joking? Silver blades, who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long? 40 and a half. Still impressed. You're something of an expert, evidently. I'm Ibir Hattori, former master swordsmith. Currently, a master of dumplings. Geralt of Rivia. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Mm, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad's smithing market? Not officially, though all supplies go through Ernst Van Horn, and they say he plays cards with Cleaver frequently. 
Ernst Van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Take it he's important in the underworld, too. Yes. What's more, he's on piss-poor terms with Cleaver, who backs Van Horn. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. <laughs> Bro, what is he gonna do with a catapult or a trebuchet? Like... <laughs> I just love that suggestion. Excellent commentary. Excellent. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark. Near the crane at the docks. Alright, so this is one of those missions that I do want to start, because eventually we'll get to it, but it's way too high level for us to deal with right now, unfortunately. But we will come back for that in some time. Oops. Uh, we can't get in there right now, it looks like, but we'll be back, that's for certain. So, this is Novigrad, a proper city, as you guys can tell. It's very nice. I really wonder how they managed to get, like, all the NPCs working properly, though. So, those of you who don't know, I do... I do know a bit about computer coding. I have taken classes on it. I even have a minor in it, believe it or not. But, uh, like something like this. This is this. I don't even know how you'd pull it off. Welcome! Welcome! Very impressive in my mind. Uh, we are gonna play some Gwent. We're gonna see what he has first. What have you got there? And it doesn't look like he has much, unfortunately. So, is that bison grass? Oh my god. Where have you looking for that for so long? That's super nice. We'll make sure to do something with that. But aside, let's get some Gwen going. A max bet, of course. What do we look like? A game of Gwent. How about it? And I think our deck is already set good. Yeah. Assuming he doesn't have a monster, so we should be fine. Let's see, we got a decoy. And we got both of us, we've been really getting really lucky with the spies. We are gonna get rid of Vess and Secret, I'm thinking though, and hopefully we'll get No, we didn't get blue stripes or Reaver Dragons. That's unfortunate. 
Hopefully this guy is a heavy spy deck since we have all the decoys. Also, that's a pretty shit ability so I don't have to worry about that too much. So this guy might also have a really poor deck if he's playing three power cards. We did get one of our blue stripes, this is good. And we did get our other reaver, which is also very good. Alright, he's just gonna pass. That's pretty convenient for us. Alright, and we're just gonna play our uh, two reavers, get the easy win there. We'll get an additional card and we'll be up two cards that way. Ah, oh, not only that, we have both our medics, so we can just call them right back, too. That's really nice. Wow, oh, black and tree archers. Alright, so we can play whatever you want. We don't really have to worry about a Scorch in that case, then. The AI is terrible at playing this card. It actually makes me upset for them. The only thing that is unfortunate is, uh, as I say, we can't use a decoy, but I guess we can. We'll just bring our medic back and summon someone else again. Oh, nice Cynthia. Yes, I'm like 99% sure this game is in the bag already. Ooh. He has been holding out on us, though. That's fine though, we'll take it right back. Hopefully we get some good cards. Ooh, Vernon and Roach, nice. And we got our third one of these. That's also really good. And what's even better is that since he played this uh, Frost, these guys are only going to be at 3 each instead of 12. So if he has a Scorch, he won't be able to affect them now. And I bet he did have a Scorch, but there's no point in using it, because it would just kill his guy. Of course it wouldn't have helped him anyways if he had taught it. He should have kept it, since it's a smarter move to do. But it wouldn't have helped him some place, because I have more cards and I would just play this guy last anyways. Just out of curiosity, let's see how well we did though. Should be like 130-ish. Oh, 154, nice. That's a good round. Let's see what he got us there. Imblerith, nice. That's a gold 10 card. Need something sharpened, reforged. Not particularly, we are gonna what play him cards. Offer? I think we're just gonna repair our things though. Just out of curiosity, does he have anything good? 230 slashing. I don't think I've ever actually bought diagrams or sword, but it's kind of interesting checking them out. Ooh, saddlebags for 70. What is ours currently? I think ours is 70 right now too, actually, so it's not a big thing. Get a little bit of money off of selling these real quick. Doesn't seem like he has much to offer beyond that. Does have a woven sword at some point? Hmm. I did come here to repair some stuff though, so that's fine. Let's see what he can offer us in terms of cards now. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. And our deck's already set, and another monsters. Nice. I say another, but the other guy was not a monster. Uh, so because of that, we'll get rid of one of our decoys since we're not really going to need it, and we'll get rid of there. Like I say, always play the strongest spy first. He has his decoy, of course. We got our reavers, nice. 
I'm gonna have to look up where I know there's three of these guys. I'm gonna have to look up where the third one is because I'm pretty sure we skipped them. I also need to look up where to get our other catapult is, which is the eight attack card, since he is also a uh, type bond unit. He's not gonna play anything. Nice. We didn't really get anything too useful there, unfortunately. So we will get this extra card. Not really sure what we're gonna use that decoy for, other than our medic. Maybe. Doubles front row attack. That could be a bit difficult to deal with. Oh, is he gonna give us another spy? Oh, uh, thank you, sir. We will be taking that for sure. This from a brief glance, though, I think this match might be pretty close. Because we're pretty close in cards as is. And he's playing lots of stuff. Yeah, look at that. Um, we are gonna try and bait out his leader ability though. I think that'd be most ideal for right now. Yeah, there it goes. 91. And we'll just give up at that point. No need to challenge that really. Alright, alright. So it's kind of disappointing we didn't get any more blue stripes. And I'm gonna leave our medics for last simply to see which category has the most points and then that way we know whether to call back both of these guys or both our archers. And we're only going to call back one or the other because of our horn here. Okay, Ron. Not sure why he would play it there though, but okay. Like even the hard AI for like Gwent really isn't that good, unfortunately. This is rather disappointing. Alright, 57. I think we should be able to meet that. No big deal. And I think we are going to call back our archers. Nice. Yeah, because we're going to... yeah. So this is definitely a good idea to call back the archers. They're gonna have a lot of strength here. What's that bring it up to 115? Nice, nice. Not a bad round. I'm gonna get out of it. Clear weather. Alright. And uh, it says we're basically right here. Like I'm pretty sure it's the back side of our home right there. This way. Our Shining a and cutscene. No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you by the others of your species. No, 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 no. I wanted only to live like you, 
Help me, kind folk! Please! <laughs> I gotta say that's fucked up, yo. It's fucked up. And my understanding is typically you don't actually do die from the flames. The you die from smoke inhalation. Doo Doo, by the way, is another Doppler. A friend of uh, Geralt's who we haven't met. And we might not be. We'll see what happens. Also, there's a ton of merchants here, so let's just see if we can uh, get some cards going. Welcome. Welcome. This guy does not play cards. That is there. deeply disappointing. I need to even have anything good. What is this man doing? I can't, however, get rid of all this junk. I don't want that, actually. Try to keep like the nice things, you know. Not like there's any real rhyme or reason to it, but it does feel nice. I guess we'll keep the talisman too. So long. So there's that. We'll speak to this individual next. Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, the Butcher of Blaviken. Geralt of Rivia is enough. What is it? A man came to me a few years past. Paid me to keep a book for you. Said you'd come for it one day. Who was he? Um, he didn't introduce himself. But the book has a red cover. That I remember. I'm sure I've not sold it. All right. See if I can find it. And perhaps glance at the others while you're at it. Sure. Be glad to look over what you got. So you can read these books for additional information, but I don't really know what they actually provide you with. Nothing I'm too interested in though. We'll do this really quick since it literally doesn't leave here. The treatment of furuncles through cauterization. A study. My manifesto. Must be it. There's a letter inside. From Jacques de Alderberg. Oh, this is the, uh, so this refers to the original Witcher, Witcher 1, where Jax de Aldersberg is the leader of the Order of the White Rose, who's like the, uh, the main enemy in that game. I also did you guys read it on your own. I'll just go through it slowly. Oh, I guess this is the one page. Letter from A. So it says, Witcher, an ocean of possibility. Some events are more likely and some less. It is not easy to fish out the first, not even when one's intellect stretches through all time and space. I left this letter for you in the hope that, despite all odds, you will come across it one day, for I must war warn you, mankind is threatened. The prophesied destruction by the White Frost is not just the babbling of some mad she-elf. Perhaps... I will have the opportunity to convince you of this in person. If not, I must rely on this letter, which you will read many years from now, at a time when you know more than you did when we first met. Know that nothing will save the world except preparing its entire population for this catastrophe. The old tales say a child of elder blood can stave off the danger, but I tried and failed. Ever since I have been haunted by a hideous vision, a crowned wraith, a specter of my failure. I was the chosen one, and the chosen one failed. You and your brotherhood are our only hope. When the time of the wolf's blizzard comes, men shall perish, and only Ubermen, and only the Ubermen will survive. 
Your duty is to give the world Uberman. Whatever you think of me, do not fail as I have failed. Not really sure who that refers to, unfortunately. Believe it or not, there's actually people here. Incredible. Yeah, so I have no idea who A is, honestly, and I should probably look it up. And we're just gonna look through here to get a little bit of extra info offense for Ali, which it does not look it. We are gonna play this guy in Gwento, since I do know he plays. Interested in books? You don't look the scholar, but well, we've ones with drawings as well. <laughs> That's so insulting, I love it. Now, if I remember, this guy's took his deck is actually pretty strong. And I want to say it's Scoyatel. A few rounds of Gwent. Against these monsters, though, we are going to get one Biting Frost. No, it is Scoyatel. Okay, cool, cool. Three decoys to start. Very interesting. I don't think we need three. We did get our two spies, that's what's most important. I also think it's extremely likely that we're gonna lose this first round based on what we have. Oh, we don't have either of our medics. That's what worries me most. Still none. That was the strength of ranged combats. Interesting. Well, it's good that we got that out of the way, if nothing else. Let's just see what he does, I guess. Yeah, so without our medic, like, our decoys are kind of useless, honestly. Which is deeply disappointing. Hmm. So he is 19? We play eight and five then, right? Or eight and six, I guess. And maybe we'll get Yennefer? That'd be ideal. Or Zoltan. That'd be unideal. Hmm. So fortunately something we do have going for us is the fact that Scoyatel has a lot of healers and it's very likely that they'll play a uh, spy off of the healer that we can use. Yeah, there it is. Something I find interesting though, or kind of weird, is that although the Scoyatel has healers like Nof Guardian, they're like strictly inferior because Nof Guardian's healers, which I think they have two or three in this line, the range line, just like the Scoyatel, they all have one attack as opposed to zero, so like. I don't really understand why they would do that. And there's the other one. Damn, still no healer. That's healer, pardon me, medic. And I think we're just gonna toss this out there. You know, basically nullify that. And hopefully he does not have a uh, clear weather, which I don't think he does. And I think we're gonna try to get him to play a bit more this round, just to see what happens. All right, all right. Get him to play a lot of his good cards like that. I will not complain. We're just gonna hope he does not have a, uh, a scorch. So that would be. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I guess we should have expected that. Alright. I think we got called around there. It's literally everything we have left is the swords. Oh, that's painful. Well, 
hope as long as he doesn't have another Scorch, I think we'll be okay. If he does have another Scorch, then we are going to be hurting badly. Oh, yeah, that hurts badly. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he's whooping us. I don't think we can win this at all. So this guy's like the only deck with like, and the only score you tell deck I've seen where he like actually puts in work. So most of the other score you tell decks I see, I feel like are actually pretty weak. R.I.P. Well, we'll be back lad, we'll be back. We have contract for an imp, contract for a haunted house, monsters in the pits, and fist fights. It's kind of interesting that we get the monster and Oxenford contract from here when this is not Oxenford. Not even close to it, really. Alright, so I know a lot of you probably want to get to Triss, but. We do have to finish up our coins. Welcome, welcome. God damn it! What have you got? None of these guys play Gwent. I feel hurt. Personally attacked. No, nope. I think we came across this earlier, but I decided not to get it because it's basically useless. I just remembered it isn't useless because it increases our toxicity, so we will buy it. And we'll see if he has anything good. He does have some long groove. How expensive is that? 10 each. We'll buy like 3. It's not a super common ingredient, but it is used on occasion. All spice. I think that is another one of those ones that is used on occasion. But aside from that, I think nothing much else of interest. Bear fat and bear hide. Um, I need to stop getting rid of the bear hides then. None of that here though. Definitely doesn't have that. Oh, we can get this though. I do know he has mistletoe. We can get like five of them. Enhanced moon dust might also be nice. We did see it put in some good work earlier. Yeah. Like three of these. We're good on the blow balls. That's pretty much useless. Alright, cool. Oh, but it did say we could make a decoction right now. Which one? It better not be the one we just bought. No, it's the Night Wraith one. Hmm. This one might not be too bad. We'll get it. I'm not sure if we'll end up using it, but we'll get it. So long. And well, well, there's two more guys we have to speak to. Greeting. Greetings. Show me your wares, lad. Show me your wares. Absolutely nothing of interest. So long. And finally, is this guy right here? Well, well. Look who's here. The White Wolf himself in my humble establishment. How can I be of service? How's business? Really? That's the best you got. That's like asking a fisherman if they're biting or an old gran about her health. Business is booming. There's profit to be made from war, provided you've the know-how. Before Nilfgaard had even crossed the Pontar, I'd contracted for insured deliveries of wood and iron from Kovir. 
reaped a sevenfold return on my investment. Nice. So you might think, but then there's the non-human poll tax, the church's tithe, war taxes, and my overhead. Subtract all that and you're left with a pittance, a dozen or so chests and no more. You play Gwent, don't you? Oh, sure. Because I'm a dwarf, is that it? Do you also believe I know every other bleeding dwarf in existence, and at the end of each day, I deepen the mine shaft in my cellar? So you play or not? I I play. <laughs> this guy's funny. It's based on the conversation, it seems like they know each other, but I'm not really sure how, unfortunately. So play me. Stake a unique card, maybe? Why not? Alright, nice. Uh, so we're going straight into it. I think he has Squaytail as well, but I don't think his deck is nearly as good as the Bookkeeper, who for whatever reason this has a godly deck. Oh, this is a pretty piss poor deck. Not a single spy? Are you kidding me? Well, maybe we can try and win the round. Hopefully, we can get one off of that. Uh, tons of fives by the looks of things. Not sure if I want to play these two guys since he might have a Scorch. I feel like I'm kind of obligated to though. And if he does Scorch it, we'll just take a fat L I guess. I don't know, maybe he doesn't have a Scorch if he's not playing anything, though. Unless he's just trying to bait us. I think both of us might run out of cards, though. Oh, that's good. We are going to take back at least one card though, and I'm thinking it has to be this guy. He's the highest we can take back. Yeah, so we'll do that. We'll get another card. Let's hope it's a spy, and it's not. Alright, that's fine. So this is kind of a weird game, literally zero spies. That said, it doesn't look like he has much to defend himself with either, if only he has healers. Yeah, so I guess is this a weak, weak game for both of us, but it seems like his is just a wee bit weaker than our own. game. Can't rightly recall the last time I was so thoroughly thrashed. The card's yours. Tried your best. Tell me, who else would have worthwhile cards? There's Marquis Serenity, for instance. She don't boast about it, but she has one of the best decks in town and uses it damn well. I know what I'm talking about. Started on the big city Gwent players, which is perfect. Just what we wanted. Alright, so I do see another merchant here. And just to keep you all waiting even longer, we are gonna go play some Gwent with him now. Top notch swords. Ah, oh, he doesn't play though. Damn. Let's see what he has and then we'll leave. Show me what you have in stock. There are assassin's boots. Not nearly as good as the gloves, mind you, but they are there. We are gonna grab these Witcher maps, by the way. No 
hopefully they'll give us some Witcher gear options. But aside from that, I don't think we really have much to sell, yeah. We do not. So long. Alright, time to finally visit Triss then. After we uh look at those maps we just purchased. I guess I have to go ahead and read them. What missions did those start? Wolf gear and... Wolf gear part 4. Interesting. I was about to say, those are both Kaer Morin ones. Also, of note, the lowest level wolf gear is level 14. The griffin one is 11. And the cat looks like 17. So I guess the uh, we are going to have multiple kind of gears we can run through as we go through. So it seems like griffin level 2 is at 18. So cat is at 17. So it looks like based on this, the next armor gear we'll probably get is cat. So if we get the care of somehow before we're... Like, just as we get to level 14, 15, I guess we can take care of that as well. That's interesting. Good to know. Finally, let's go meet Triss. That does not look good, huh? Hey! Sod off! We're looting here! Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, looky. Thinks he can scare us off. Three. Oh, they asked for it, not gonna lie. Can we draw our sword? Oh, we can. <laughs> Come on now. We'll, we'll split it. Plenty here for everyone. I'm not a thief. Looking for the sorceress who lived here. Most likely hiding in some rat trap with the rest of them. Who's she hiding from? Temple Gods cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Someone's gotta know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. A hive of scum and freakery if it ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you've got to get there through the sewers, but you've got to enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar, or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves got to pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects, Deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, oh, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerer's pity shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well. Sorcerers, mages of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings, and the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. Well, damn. Unlucky for them, huh? You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. 
Novigrad's no place for your kind. Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Nothing I can do to you now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it, and when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. And this guy got some, uh, trying to intimidate us and shit. I don't know how I feel about that. I have to whoop on him. At some point. Not now, of course. Oh, there's the blade from the bits we could have bought from the guy earlier. Superior Dragon Stream, Meteorite Silver Plate. That's pretty nice. Get some Assassin's Trousers. Need about some conjunction of the spheres. Interestingly enough, there is something beneath us. I'm not exactly sure how to get down there, though, I must say. Looks like there's another one there. Also, I have no idea what this is, but it kind of looks like a... Uh, kind of looks like an electrical box, almost, which is kind of funny. <laughs> also, it's kind of funny that he just leaves us and we immediately loot. And so what we got here looks like we got a penis. That's great. Some other graffiti. Maybe like a witch riding a broom. Some more shit like that. Let's see if we cannot find what happened to a uh, mistress. Herbs, roots, just turned to healing. We'll be taking lots of her food though. My evening with a vampire. Oh. This talks about Regis. In Buclair. Oh, so this is really cool. I never noticed this before. I assume it's been here since the base game. But this book refers to the last DLC, Blood and Wine, where we actually meet Regis in uh, Buclair. It's cool. If you guys want to read it, I'll uh, skim through it. So you can pause and whatnot. That's actually pretty cool, though. Hairbrush. Only ever known Triss to use one like this. Nice foreshadowing they got there. And can I loot this? There we go. Yeah, so here's the outside of the building we were at earlier. And we were down there talking to all the merchants. Aries, Imperial Majesty, nothing too interesting. Amulets are emanating magic. Gotta be Triss's. She was allergic to potions. I did not know that. That's kind of interesting. Something on Witcher signs. Some more steel plates. Can't complain about that. Some dumplings. Food. Looks to be a personal bath. Trisses. Never knew her to drop him on the floor. She was clearly in a hurry. The rose of remembrance. All dried up. Uh, for those who don't know, the Rose of Remembrance is a rose given from Geralt to Triss in the second Witcher game. And it's a magical rose that isn't supposed to wither or anything like that as long as the two people are in love. Uh, him saying it's dried up seems to indicate that they are no longer, but could be wrong on that.
Okay, we're gonna see if we can find ourselves a thief. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! So I guess that was pretty simple to do. And this camera angle, Lord God, what is that? Oh, I guess you can actually follow that guy right now. That's a shame. I do would, or I would like to speak to uh, this guy real quick, though. Hello, Oliver. Kingfisher, where do you get the name? Master Dandelion's poetry. The Kingfisher preened, then fell in the latrine. Know it? Yeah. Also know the one about Princess Annie, who drowned in the River Fanny. Uh, yes. At any rate, the Kingfisher welcomes poetry lovers with open arms. Some of the brightest stars in the literary firmament perform here. What are you serving today? Ah, oh, here we go. First time we've been able to buy some cards in a while. Mahakman. Is it Havakar Smuggler? Now we're gonna try to pronounce that one. And a healer, nice. So they're all Scoyatel cards, which isn't the best in the world, but we'll take them. And we're also Looking playing. Partner. Wouldn't mind a round of Gwent. Then you're in the right place, friend. If you'll play now, I'll stake the unique card from my collection. Oh, this is also one of the quests, I believe. Sure. Let's play. I'm not exactly sure what he has to offer, though. Oh, we got Vesemir, though. That's great. Uh, we'll get rid of her then, in that case. Put on Vesemir. He has a monster deck. Okay. And again, we have no spies. That is unlucky. Alright, well this is a... Uh, should be interesting. What's he have? That was strength of close combat. Alright. I think we're gonna have to take a fat L on this. I think I'm just gonna play all four of these and go like that and just hope for the best. If he has a Scorch, like, that'll hurt for sure. So he's up to 43 on that. That's not what I wanted to see, I'll be quite frank. Oh, never mind, he's up to 55. Good grief. Oh no. <laughs> if that works out, we can play that. He's gonna pass. Alright, good. We just have to hope we get something good. Or hope that he does not have something good. And that is not what we needed. Alright then. Ooh. I think it's gonna be close, but I think we're gonna lose, unfortunately. Well, I say that, but his. I don't know, he doesn't seem to be wanting to play his last two cards, so maybe they're not too good. He's just trying, trying to bait us. Oh, that sucks. Damn. I say it sucks because we want to play this guy, but he's just going to kill them both. And then we'll only have 16 points. Yeah, so we lost. That sucks. Oh man, that really sucks. 
Man, that was super close, though. Oh, I didn't even realize there was another round. Shit. We could have won that. That's my fault. Personally, I'd have played that hand differently. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, I would have played it too. Damn. Alright, we'll play him again, though. That was close. So, shall we... Sure. Let's... Well, you can contribute somewhat to having a poor hand with new spies or anything. They even have a medic. But we also played bad at the end there. That was completely my fault. Alright, the sand isn't too bad. So all the decoys are not necessarily desirable. I didn't even know ghouls were a card, that's kind of funny. Interesting. Yeah, so already this game is going a lot better. And I think this should be a pretty easy win. Is he gonna pass? He is. So is there an easy way to win this? Well, his deck doesn't have any medic, so we could just take this card back. Uh, I don't know, is that what we want to do? Because he still has his ability right there. And if he plays a lot of stuff next round, it's going to be very hard to beat. Meaning we probably want to win this round. That being the case, I think we're gonna go like this and win that way. Oh wow, uh, they got really lucky. You got to keep the end of line on the board. Yikes. Oh, but we can play these two guys because the round following, we can just use our two medics to bring them back. And that's fine too, we can always just use our ability to get rid of that. Ideally we wanted to get to play a whole bunch of like frontline cards. Or just cards in general since we're gonna take the L on this round. Finally. I guess we'll use this ability now. That'll give us 16 more. Nice. Now he's gonna have to keep playing. But that ability doesn't really help him too much. So what we'll do is we'll take back this guy. He's gonna have to play again. He's gonna play Griffin. Alright, cool. And we're gonna pass at this point. No need to keep going. Awesome. And we'll respond with our Vesemir. He gets his behemoth, but he doesn't he's not able to call on the other guys, so that's fine. And this round's gonna be an easy one. So we can call on our uh, reavers now, using our medics. We'll 
play a blue stripe and that's game nice so we're gonna get a good card off of that i hope you win card's yours all right dope We got Tibor, something other. I'm gonna try to pronounce that, but uh, he uh, he's a ten point card. Go on. Oh yeah, I had the food. Double chase. I guess it's one of the beggars to talk to. Interesting. Let's see if we can find any beggars or uh, thieves, not beggars. I forget exactly what I'm looking for when I do this. Ooh. Okay. Ah, oh, there's one. He sensed something. Gotta stay further back. How? I was literally just standing there. More cautious than I thought. Can't get too close. Alright, that is very cautious if he sees us this like that far away. Usually games are a bit more lenient on that. So when I first tried this mission I tried talking to the beggars first since it's simple. But uh I wasn't able to find it out through the beggars if I recall correctly. Also there is a mission right there. It's a short one too, so I'm kinda sad we can't do it right now. So so be merciful! Give us a crown, eh? Me mum's sick, and if I don't feed her, well, she's like to die hunger. Here. Thank you, you gold-hearted man. Care to hear me tell her, woe? Some other time. I'm in a hurry. And good guy Geralt strikes again. Sometimes it really is that easy. He's gotta pay everyone off, you know? That's a really nice detail. We'll be back here later on, but uh, both of them will not be if you if you catch my drift. Again with the weird ass camera angles, yo. Yeah. I don't know what's causing that. Some merchants talking, it would seem. Non humans exhibit a natural inclination towards brigandry. Every one of them. Oh, that's racist. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Completely fucking forget. Oh, yeah, so the uh, the thieves in this in this town obviously are very uh, very organized, you know, passing off to one another to break the trail and whatnot. Very clever. <laughs> Something I do hate is that you can't actually like walk slow behind these guys. Like this is the slowest you can go. So you have to like stop and start, stop and start. And it's just annoying. It's not really a big deal, but it's something that'd be nice if it didn't exist that way. So we've basically gone in a big circle now, and that's the back of Triss's home again. You can really see how big the city is too, just standing here and looking across like that. It really is quite impressive how well they did with the world building in this game. But then again, I guess if they hadn't, I wouldn't be playing this game like five years later on, now would I? Open up. Uh, 
Who are you and what do you want? Doing some sightseeing. Kind of curious about what's beyond this gate. My brother-in-law was curious. Worms. Been eating him for five years now. That's kind of fucked up. Your own brother-in-law, really? Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated killer, me thinks. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Now the password, get him free. Don't know it. Got to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Don't know the password. Pay up then. Ah, uh, JK. I won't pay. Let me in. Yes, sir. I love that feel to you. And just a moment, my game is telling me that my stream went offline, so I'm going to check that real quick. Alright, and right, and we're back. Sometimes the streams do this fall apart like that, not exactly sure why. Uh, before we head in, I see this guy offers some Gwent, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, thankfully he does, we'll see if he has any cards to what sell though. Offering? He does not, which is rather unfortunate. But he does have, wow, those are 904. Yikes. We got money, but not like that, I must admit. Unfortunately, playing Gwent is not enough to get a lot of money. I really wish you could raise the bet higher. Surely there's a mod that does that somewhere. Another monster deck. Been a lot of those here. We did get a Biting Frost, so that's good against these guys. I guess we'll get rid of Vess. Damn. Oh, that's just unlucky. At best we can just use our uh, decoy to revive twice, but... Luck was not with us this time around, that's for sure. I think we'll try to get him play a few more cards and then we can just Biting Frost them and see what he does. Honestly, feels kind of bad. <laughs> yeah, that feels really bad. Damn. Ugh. What to do? What to do? So we could take this guy back. I don't really want to do that though. We can just medic him. Oh well, I guess we'll just do this. That feels bad. Hopefully we get something good though. We didn't really. Uh, it's really nice to see him get rid of that though. Wow, those are all on his hand. <laughs> Sometimes a game just gives you an easy win like that, and it feels so nice when it does. Anyways, I think that's game. I don't think it's something. Unless he has a, uh, a clear weather, like, that's game. And he does not, because the last card in his hand is the vampire he picked up. Nice. Excuse me, not a vampire, a werewolf. Either way though, good game. Maybe it'll give us a good card off of that. And he 
gave us a hack of our smuggler. That's all right. Yeah, everybody. This is the moment a lot of you have been waiting for, I bet. Good. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atreus. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have, but I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. See, Witcher, I've got plans, big plans, far reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with the hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition, farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But well, one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because like I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're a Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? So I am considering reloading that just because apparently we missed some dialogue with her. We actually are going to do that. Apparently the pace you walk at is just too As fast. As the Emperor's spies told him, Ciri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. So that was saying, because your walking pace is so fast, we just like 
cut off a lot of the dialogue there before she was able to finish what she was saying. So we're just going to reload so we can hear what she has to say real quick. This is kind of important. Especially a lot of the backstory between uh, Triss and Geralt. At least in regards to what's happened over or between like the second game and this game. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start anew. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on, let me give you a taste of my life. Alright, so as she says there, it does seem to indicate that she and Geralt kind of broke up six months ago after Geralt uh, regained his memory. Madam Sorceress, beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're a Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Got a snake's tongue as well. Alright, so it doesn't appear that Triss knew that Siri was in Novigrad at all, which is one of the main reasons we came to find her, which is a bit disappointing, at least for Geralt, but perhaps someone else knows something, you know? Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse a bit. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heel. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out, he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Clue. Yeah, and so that conversation there is one of the main reasons that the Redanians really don't deserve any mercy, you know. Not a fan of them at all, and that's why we've been doing everything we can to kind of like fuck with them. As far as the storyline's concerned, at the end of the day, none of that stuff really matters except for the ending we choose. But it can make you feel better. Oh my god, was that actually a lot tougher than I remember him being? There's a draft. Should be a next. Not wrong about Free city that. Of Novigrad. Name actually used to mean something. The very 
reason so many mages came here after the massacre of Gotham Hill. Thought they'd be safe from out of its reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin, and winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why they're exterminating mages, confiscating their property. God damn it, cut Judging off again. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. <laughs> yeah, you gotta hand it to Gal. He is quick with the banter. Anyways, let's see what we can find. It's kind of odd when you're above the surface water, you can see a lot farther than you can once you actually get under. We find, it seems we found a few more recipes too. Uh, so we got superior hybrid oil, we found some superior bomb oil when we were still in the... underneath the guy's house and all that. But there's more stuff further on too. We're gonna ignore that for now though. Also, before it just got cut off, before the cutscene, she was talking about how the uh, witch hunters and all that have been attacking basically all the non-humans to uh, uh, confiscate their property and use it to fund Radovid's war. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Don't much like merchants who flatter with cheap praise before the job's done. That was not cheap praise. I was merely stating a fact. So am I. I want you to pay in full in advance. I'm afraid that's impossible. Then trap your own rats. Well, now I know why she brought you along. Fine. A full purse of Novigrad crowns as proof of my goodwill. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. Alright. And you'll see there is a reason it gave us uh, three options there, whether to do it, then you get paid half in advance half or all in advance. The other half. Look for evidence of bad activity. Mm-hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting. But they killed my king. Look for crevices and droppings. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. So I think there's three of them, if I remember Looks correctly. Like a good spot. I don't like oh, that. It guy. also says three, too. 
Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I'm worried about that sort of thing, I'd start with them in this city. This is a definitely Gwent cards, yo. You can see the torrential rain, the arch griffin. Yo, and the one right next to the fallen cup right there, that's a 10 point card. We should be able to pick those up and take them. That's very disappointing. I think I plugged every hole in there. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Um, is she done? Well, I guess so. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. I don't know what to say. Maybe she's right. I mean, I guess, right? You could be right, but only he knows the truth. We're only ever the ones to know the truth about ourselves. Which we share at times with those we hold dear. Even if it's hard to swallow? Even then. Who knows? Maybe one day. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Don't know yet. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Kind of disgusting how many rats that is. Like, Lord God, that's so many. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. If these boys are here to help us kill rats, they're late. You paid up front and got what you paid for. Not half a rodent left in the granary. I paid in advance because I knew I'd recover my coin. Such is life for sorceresses in Novigrad these days. I can see that and I don't like it. So here's what I think. The hunters have come, and now they can go. They'll do no such thing. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember. I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. I love how the romantic love music is going on while they're having like a really tense conversation. Anyway. Time to whoop these guys real quick. Didn't we? Kind of funny that they think like three people can actually take on the sorceress or mage or sorcerer, etc. I really feel like that's not a good idea. Like she literally rains fucking fire from the heavens. 
What do you do about that? Not for you. We need to find Brandon. All right, let's go find his ass. And even run. What a guy. Don't kill me, good sir. No, they forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is. You'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. F fine. Your coin. Now get. Thanks, Geralt. Yeah, his fucking face there is priceless. I have gonna lie. They're really good with a lot of emotions in this game. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri, and I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareen Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. Thanks for everything, Seatrice. Mm-hmm. See you. How do I find you if I need you? I live in the bits. Head up the hill, past the fish market. Stop by. Be seeing you. And we will be stopping by, but not today. Um, it's time to end the stream and the episode and all that. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you've made it this far, you know, like rain. please consider leaving a like, subscribing if you enjoyed the rain. Or, yeah, enjoyed the rain. Just happened to be thinking about that since I'm looking at it. If you enjoyed the stream slash the episode, if you're watching this on YouTube, Hope you all have a great day. It's been great talking to y'all. And I hope to see you next time. Peace.